Well then, this is uh, interesting. Ah, oh, man. It's been kind of a busy week for me. I've had, like, no time to do anything I've wanted to do. So, in terms of the news that's been coming out, I've been seeing it. However, I haven't been able to discuss it. I do have a, lo a few things I'm going to have to talk about regarding the Ravens because they're making hires and a couple people are left. And I will definitely address that sometime next week. But, as for this one, I'm going to get that out the way because I heard about this. And I'm actually not surprised to hear that this is the case. Dwayne Haskins gets signed on the one-year deal by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm not surprised to see this. I mean, if you if you see my takes, I said the Steelers is probably one of the best places, if not the best place for him to land, because I feel like Mike Tomlin could actually do somewhat of a solid job in trying to help him. Not to mention just a fresh start with a team like Pittsburgh can definitely do wonders. So I don't I don't know he's I I like I said, I wish the young man best of luck. Um his time in Washington was definitely a controversial one and it just seemed like it was an opportunity that he wasn't able to capitalize on and I just wish him the best of luck and hope that he matures and learns from this situation and takes that level you know just takes a whole new attitude into another team and I remember pointing out that Pittsburgh will definitely be a great location for him to go because they could definitely it'll be a great unit there and those coaches you at least hope would be able to get his mindset to change and with the fresh start overall knowing everything that's happened I believe he'll definitely be better on another team and at least learn from some of the mistakes he's made so yeah him going to Pittsburgh I was not surprised to hear that um definitely an interesting sign you know putting him on a one-year deal we'll see how that goes um I don't know what they maybe they're hoping to see if they can get something out of this and maybe they could put him on their center once Ben's gone, but it's a one year deal. I, I don't know. I, I think they're going to see what they can get from Dwayne Haskins. They want to see how he looks. They want to see if he improves because like I've said, he has the talent. Dwayne Haskins has the talent to be a successful quarterback. It's just his mindset and his maturity that he's lacking in. Those were the two things he displayed in Washington that he had no qualities of or just low qualities of. He, his maturity was very bad. He didn't, he, he was just immature the entire time and he showed virtually no leadership skills. And when you looked at the film, there wasn't a lot to really be impressed with. Again, the man has the talent. I've always said it. The man has a talent to be a really good quarterback in this league, but he has to put in the work. He has to be more mature and he has to understand what it takes to be the quarterback of a football team. The level of maturity that you have to hold with that position, he's got to understand that. And I, I, I at least hope, but I'm going to put some belief in the way Haskins and think that everything that's happened in Washington has at least opened his eyes to how he's been, you know, behaving so far. And I hope he takes a whole new mindset to Pittsburgh and comes out and shows them something that'll make them want to keep him long term. I don't know what the, what their plan is in terms of Dwayne Haskins because we know Ben Roethlisberger is most likely coming back for the 2021 season because he still has one more year on the contract and he's definitely going to want his money. And since they're signing Haskins to a one year deal, I do not know if this means that they want to. I, I, I guess what since they're signing him to a one year deal, they're hoping to evaluate him in this one season and see if they can get anything for him. If they can, if they can see anything there that impresses them, they'll probably put him in under center next year when Ben's gone. Or not, not not this upcoming season, next season, like 2022 season. They'll probably put him in then if they really like what they see with him moving forward. Because we've already talked about Pittsburgh not necessarily having a quarterback ready to go after Ben retires. And let's be real. Most people, especially Steelers fans, most Steelers fans, just do they don't trust Mason Rudolph at all. Like a lot of Steelers fans say, Mason Rudolph's the future. No, no, he's not. Don't trust Rudolph. You need somebody else. Obviously, you know, we've definitely heard people say, well, you know what? The Texans should, you know, trade Deshaun Watson to Pittsburgh. What would they offer? They're not just going to give up Deshaun Watson for anything, okay? Bill O'Brien's not there to do something stupid like that. I just, I don't know. I don't see Deshaun Watson going there. Speaking of that, that whole situation has been eh, very interesting. Like, there's no way Deshaun Watson's going to be in Houston next year, right? This offseason should be very interesting in terms of what the Texans do because I think they're done. No, well, not them being done. I think Deshaun Watson specifically done with Houston. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes. 
But yeah, in terms of Dwayne Haskins, I wish him the best of luck. This is a brand new opportunity. He's going to be on a new team, and he's going to have to prove himself. The former first-round draft pick is no longer going to be able to have the access or just the way he was able, just the things he was able to get away with, he's not going to be able to get away with in Pittsburgh. Okay, it's, it's definitely a new look for him, a new environment, and just a place where he can come out slowly work hard, see if he can prove himself, and hopefully hopefully, like earn a roster spot long term. We'll just see. But yeah, like I said, I wish Dwayne Haskins the best of luck, you know? I, I wish this didn't situation... I, I just wish the situation in Washington didn't go down the way it did, but, you know, that's just how it happened, you know? He, he came in, he, he showed a lack of maturity, he, his decision-making was definitely poor, and when you saw him on the football field, sometimes you really wondered if he had the passion to play football, which doesn't make sense because if you saw him, you know, in college, you, you would be like, yeah, this, this guy's got all the talent in the world and he looks like he has the drive to want to be great. But I don't know what happened in Washington to cause him to just change his mindset. It's like he made the NFL and thought, okay, well, I've done all the work. I don't need to continue to work hard the way I've been doing. I need to continue to have this mindset that's more focused towards trying to help my team win. I can just sit back, relax, and be me. I'm an NFL quarterback now. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate that the situation in Washington went down the way it did. But at the end of the day, you know, I still, I, I still feel like Deshaun, Deshaun, I feel like Dwayne Haskins could, you know, be a successful quarterback. I'm not going to sit here and say he's going to be something spectacular or great, but I think he can be somewhat of a successful quarterback as a starter if he was to change his mindset and continue to work hard. The man has talent, and if he works hard to utilize that talent, changes his mindset, focuses more, matures up, and works hard, I think he can earn a roster spot in Pittsburgh. And I don't think Pittsburgh would mind getting Dwayne Haskins if he can actually show them something that pops out on the film. Just something that they can work with and say, you know what, he's a young quarterback, we can work with this. You know, Ben's gonna be leaving soon. We can work with this and see what we can get from this moving forward. So yeah, he's got a long uphill battle. This one year deal with Pittsburgh, I don't know how it's gonna go, but he's gonna have to prove himself in this one season because Ben's most likely gone after next season. And if you want, and they're going to be looking for a starting quarterback, if you want to get that job, Haskins, you're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to be focused. You're going to have to change your mindset. And you're going to have to put in the work, man. So we'll see what happens with that situation. But I'm just glad somebody picked him up. We'll just see how that situation goes. And once again, I wish the man the best of luck. With that being said, there's not much left for me to talk about. We'll just see how the situation goes down. That's really all I got to talk about for this situation. Best of luck to Dwayne Haskins, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.